conceptual understanding of UTX Oracle on the UTXO Live slash Oracle website. Uh, if you're new to this, if this is the first time you are hearing about UTX Oracle and you want a more general overview, check the uh, introduction to UTX Oracle video above this. And if you want to even deeper dive into all the details of how UTX Oracle works, including a code review, check out the under, hood, under the hood of UTX Oracle video below here. Just a brief recap, um, UTX Oracle is a decentralized alternative to estimating the daily price of Bitcoin. So normally we were checking Coinbase or checking an app on our phone, CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap.com. Um, to get the price of Bitcoin, but there's some problems with that because um, you're needing a third trusted third party um, and also some other problems with that as well. UTX Oracle does this in a completely decentralized way. Anyone who's running a Bitcoin node can just download utxoracle.py and run that program and it will estimate a daily price of Bitcoin just from analyzing patterns of on-chain transactions, which everyone who has a node has stored on their local machine. Yesterday we ran it and it was $96,000 and or $96,086. Today is Monday, February 10th. How accurate is UTX Oracle? So um, th I've run UTX Oracle every day since 2021 and this is the prices it gets every day you can see that it matches perfectly with coinbase or any other exchange because uh you know if you think about it there is no exact price of bitcoin different exchanges give different prices and throughout the day um, the price changes how do you even calculate an average bitcoin price of a day how do you uh, calculate a global um, bitcoin price how do you um, take the different averages of the different exchanges. Um, there's no exact way to do this. And one could even argue that UTX Oracle is more of a uh, better way to get the global average daily Bitcoin price because these transactions come on from on chain. Before I do the explanation of how this kind of magic works, um, let me take just a few seconds here and show you how you can run it yourself. So if you're on a computer that hosts a Bitcoin node and you have Python 3 installed, you can uh, download and run UTX Oracle in, in three pretty easy steps. First, you want to make sure that server equals one um, is listed in your Bitcoin configuration file. Um, and restart core if it was not there. So I'm on a Bitcoin node machine right now. Uh, here's my Bitcoin core software. If I open um, its preferences on a Mac, I think it's maybe settings on Windows. And if you get to the options menu down here, it'll say open configuration file. Um, it'll give you a little warning message to make sure you want to do this, and you do. So here's my bitcoin.conf file right here. You can see that I already have server equals one. You can generally type in this stuff. If you don't already have server equal one, just type it in there and then you'll need to uh, restart um, Bitcoin Core if it wasn't in there before. Step two in running it is just open up a command window and copy paste this command in there. So I'm going to open up a command window here, copy paste this line of code, and hit enter. Curl is just a default command uh, processing tool that just downloads files off the web for you. So you can see that this is downloaded utxoracle.py. Then the final step of it is to run the program with this command. So you can see it started there, UTX Oracle version 8. It's connected to the node at this block height. And this gives you the range of dates available for you to do your price estimation. So um, you can either enter in a specific date in that Y, year, month, day format, hit Q to quit, or just hit enter to run the program. Starting the price estimate, we're doing this estimate for yesterday, February 9th, 
2025. You can see it's running pretty quickly. This tells you what block it's reading in. This is the time that block happened. You can see all these uh, blocks happen on the same day. You can see that the percentage completion is ticking along fairly quickly here. It'll probably be done um, in a few minutes. And we'll check back on that program at the end of the video to see what price it came up with. But first, um, let's explain how this magic happens. Um, how exactly is UTX Oracle simply using data from your Bitcoin node to estimating a price and not contacting any outside sources like an exchange or anything? I feel like I should start with a little bit of background. So before I made UTX Oracle, I'm the guy that's um, made these very high density heat maps of all Bitcoin transactions. Here's the heat map that shows um, transaction outputs all time. So this is every single transaction that has ever happened in Bitcoin. Um, going back to Satoshi days, 2010 up to today. And a couple of years ago, I noticed this weird thing that was happening in these plots where I could see these jagged lines so if you zoom in here, starting around 2016, 2017, I saw these lines forming and they all were exactly, you know, even though they're jagged, they're all like parallel to each other. And it didn't take too long to realize that this had to be the U.S. dollar price. This, this had to be people sending round amounts of U.S. dollars. Because we know that these horizontal lines are people sending round amounts of Bitcoin because it's the same amount of Bitcoin. These things are people sending round amounts of U.S. dollars, but because the U.S. dollar is a different amount every day, um, it's actually going to be a different amount of Bitcoin. And that's the reason why you have all of these price lines um, stacked up against each other is because these are different round amounts, like $10, $20, $50, $100, $200, $500, $1,000. All of these lines showed up. And they showed up especially well um, when I first released UTX Oracle. So this is around 2021, 2020, 2021. These lines were absolutely perfectly clear. Um, so I knew at this point that I should just write a program that just basically tried to identify First of all, you know, which round amount of Bitcoin is this? Is this $100? Is this $10? Is this $5? Um, and once you know that, then it's pretty easy to calculate the price of Bitcoin. Last year in 2024, we saw a lot of non-financial types of transactions that made some noise in this data. Uh, but the, in the previous version of UTX Oracle, um, struggled with this a little bit, but the new version, version 8, which I'm releasing uh, today, it will actually glide through this stuff very easily. Um, I've figured out a way to filter out all this stuff, so in the new version of Utex Oracle, uh, it's not bothered by this noise at all. So the last part of here is like, okay, well, we know that these are USD price lines, but how do we know which one is which? That's actually fairly simple. Um, and just an easy example is if someone is spending 0 0.001 Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin is $100,000, then you just multiply that and you know that this is the $100 line. So we just know in a general sense that this guy is the $100 line. We don't need to use the fact that um, Bitcoin was $100,000 on a certain day in the code. We just need to know that this kind of brightest line here is going to be $100. And the general shape of all the lines above it are going to be like this and like that, with it being slightly less power as you fall off into these higher denominations of round amounts of Bitcoin. Um, so then once you know where these lines are, even if it's not right at a perfect nice number, if it's a little bit higher than 0 0.001, you simply divide whatever that number is by $100, or excuse me, you divide $100 by whatever this number is, and that gives you a price estimate. So I'll show you a little bit more in detail um, how that works. 
What the program does is it downloads one day. So if you just think about one vertical column of this graph right here, and when I say downloads, I mean just pulls from your node. So the program contacts your node running on your local machine and it just says like, hey, give me all of the data for a single day of Bitcoin transactions amount right here. And what we'll see is that you'd expect, you know, not very many transactions down here. And then these kind of spikes with a big spike around 0.001 and then kind of some more spikes as you go up here. And so if I'm running the program and I'm running a program that has some graphical illustrations with it, um, just get these graphs started right here. So here, um, the program's pulled in all of the transactions on October 25th, 2024. And this is exactly what we expected to see. Smaller transactions down here. The bottom of this is kind of like a nice round bell curve. Most of the transactions happen in this range. And then we see these spikes, which we just know are round USD amounts. I can tell you just by looking at this, just because I've done this for so long, that this is going to be the $100 line, and this is going to be a $50 line. And it's very easy as a person, just using your human eye, just to tell where these round US dollar amounts are. But it's a little trickier to get a program to do it. But what I've done to do this, and anybody, I mean, there's, there's several different ways that you could write an algorithm to do this. But the technique I've used is by sliding a stencil of a kind of prototypical, perfect structure of, um, of what the round amounts of US dollars should look like. And then I slide that stencil over this graph to see where it fits. So here is a illustration of the price finding stencil. This is the $100 line right here. This $100 line over, you know, I've been doing this for five or six years now, and a $100 line is almost always the most popular round US dollar amount. 50 is the next most popular. And by the way, this isn't going to happen every day. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. That's why we have so many of these round US dollar amounts is because every day is going to be a little bit different. Maybe this is higher one day. Maybe this is lower one day. It doesn't have to be perfect, but because we're using so many of these, it's generally going to lock in at the right place. And exactly what these heights are is what I've done is, you know, I've pulled this data over five years and I've lined up all of these round US dollar amounts on top of each other. And I've just taken the average of what they have been like every day for five years. And that's how I got the individual heights. The smooth curve underneath it similarly is just what I you know, showed before with what the bottom of that curve looked like. So um, pull it back up again. You know, what does this general shape look like? So the bottom of the stencil is trying to find just this general, you know, center of mass kind of thing of the distribution of outputs. And then the spiky stencil is trying to fine tune exactly on what those $100, $20, $1,000 round amounts to Bitcoin are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little animation of the price finding stencil sliding over this distribution of outputs here. So we're sliding the stencil from left to right over top and we're seeing what score you get on every place that you slide in hopes that it will lock in on the right place. And it pretty much does lock in on the right place for every day that I've tried it so far. Once you know where the $100 transactions are, they're happening at 0 0.0149 BTC, you simply divide um, $100 by that number and that gives you the US dollar price per Bitcoin. So on December 25th, 2024, you can see that the price is exactly $67,085. Go ahead and check and see if you think this was a good price. Um, go ahead and run UTX Oracle on any day you want.
and um, see how it compares. Let me get, um, just briefly tell you why there's an argument for why this is better than any kind of average price. If you go back and you look at the these on-chain transactions, these are transactions that have actually been processed. Um, something has actually been exchanged. There is no uh, paper trading going on here. So if you buy Bitcoin on an exchange, you didn't really get that Bitcoin until you did a withdrawal. So maybe you did a withdrawal and, and then it goes on chain. But these are this is an indication of US dollars traded for Bitcoin where the trade has actually gone through. It's actually settled. So that's one way in which this average might be a little bit better than what you get on an exchange. Um, the other way is just that what is the proper way to um, weight the different averages or the different prices that you get from the different exchanges? Uh, well, the way this weights it is that it pretty much takes into account every single price from every exchange that was used in constructing a transaction. So if the, that price from that exchange was used to construct an on-chain transaction, then it's here. If it wasn't used, then it's not included in this average. So um, again, there are some arguments for why this way, this decentralized open source way of determining the price might provide a better uh, daily price average than just looking at a single exchange. So let's check back on the program and see what it came up with. This is when the program finishes, it gets to 99% here and then it just outputs the price. The Bitcoin price yesterday, February 9th, 2025 was $96,086. $96, so feel free to check that um, if you want to. And going back to the website here, by the way, all this stuff is on UTX o.live slash oracle you can see that um, the price history for every day yesterday all the way back to, to 2021 I'm not going to scroll all the way down there but it's all tabulated here and if uh, go ahead and run it yourself if you'd like to of course uh, read the, the open source code if you'd like always encourage everybody to do that even if you're not very technical, this um, document, this source code is very, uh, very readable. Lots of English in here. Uh, one of my purposes is, is to make this as, whole thing as transparent and understandable as possible. And if you want someone to walk you through that code, check out the next video on this website under the hood of UTX Oracle when we do an even deeper dive into how the Python script works. So thanks and hope you enjoy it.